Hi all. Uh, welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in this session, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, the lookup table in web methods. Why do we use it? And in which cases we use the uh, lookup tables? So uh, let's assume that, okay, uh, you have some employee data uh, which needs to be shared with uh, the uh, XML or uh, in JSON formats to some other system, but they say that, see in our systems, uh, we only accept Boolean variables, like say, if it is M-A-L-E or F-E-M-A-L-E, I need that to be as M and F rather than the uh, fully uh, abbreviated format and all. So, so how that can be handled in uh, web methods is either you write a service separately saying that, uh, loop over this uh, fields and when the field is uh, male then hard code the value as m if it is female hard code the value as f but if you can avoid that additional uh, service of handling and you can do it using the lookup string so let's see how that can be done so i'm uh, using a service here existing service so i'll so I'm going to use the flat file here. So the flat file uh, is like this. So it has female, male, and all those things. There are 10 records which are having all these details. And uh, what we, what I wanted to do here is, I wanted to uh, convert those values and uh, from MLE to M and uh, that thing. So how can we do it? So I'll just drop a map string here. And in that map string, I'll call the lookup table, which is string lookup table. In the lookup table, I'll hard code the values, which is like male, female. And this is the key. And I wanted to add the value to it. So I'll just add value i'll say m and f yeah so when i receive the value of uh, that as male i wanted to have this and if it is female i wanted to have that click okay so and the value of key is present in zero and the value of uh, value field is present in one and there are chances I can send uh, in camel case also or in some other formats, like say in small, small cell calculator. So in that case, I'll just give true. Then now that is coming up in uh, gender field. So I'll just go and map this gender to this. So once the mapping is complete, just wanted to replace the one. So I'll just give this to this. Or, yeah, let's keep it like this now. And save. So if I now debug it. First, I'm going to get the uh, file from that location. And I've converted that file to the iData object record with values, record with no ID. So if I go here, I'll get all the details. Get this. See, it says gender female and male. Yeah. So now if I go and debug it, one step further and see here uh, first it is uh, gender so now I'll run and the second occurrence will come up now the value of first occurrence is changed second and now let me run it now if I go and check previously we got the values as female here it got changed to f male 
and this is how you do it so this lookup table is generally useful if you are working with edi mappings generally so and edi mappings where they say that okay i'll be sending the value of uh, sender id and receiver id in the isc group and it is zero one is called as sender and zero two is called as receiver let's assume like that but I don't want to accept the value as 0, 1 in XML. Rather, than I need the abbreviated forms like 0, 1 is sender. So populate me those things in the output. So in that case, this lookup table will be useful. Or the other, the other way is like create uh, one more service on top of this and call it as a wrapper and uh, say it will say now you added male and female. Tomorrow it comes as, okay, I'm going to send some other field ac and when it is ac i want it as active so you need to go and change the code uh, saying that okay ac is this then do this or one more other way is to use the configuration files also that's the best way actually so you keep all those values in it when there is code change you need not come and change the code here rather you change the configuration file there so if you want like say less minimal of code changes then configuration is best if you want like okay i wanted i can go and change the code i wanted to make changes in the code then lookup table is the best way of doing it thank you